Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to publish a Canva website in 2024. Canva makes it very easy to design and even launch your own website without any coding knowledge in 2024. So follow the step-by-step -step guide to understand how to do so. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this video and simply let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience first you'll need to go and log in into your canva account to do so go and open a browser for me here i'm using brave for you you can use whatever you want once you open your browser basically just go to your url section just type canva.com once you do so you'll be taken to the home screen or main screen right away once you're there basically as you can see for me i'm already logged in if it's your first time for you You'll be taken to a page like this. So click on login to login into your account. As you can see, you can use Google, Facebook, uh, or Microsoft, Apple, Cleaver. If you don't want, if you have one of those accounts, you'll be able to use it to login into an account and even create an account if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of doing so. And yeah, so once you're logged in, you'll find yourself right away here, as you can see right away. So. First of all, we will need, once you're logged in, of course, you can either start creating your new website design or even open an existing one, as an example. So an example for us, let's just go and create a new one. I'll just go to the top right corner right here and click on create a design, as an example right here. So there, I'll just go and type websites. And here, I'll find here like website logo, websites accessible, a lot of other stuff. For me, I'll just choose websites right away. Once I choose websites, as an example, I'll be taken here to create basically my websites and of course you can choose one of the template that's already provided here make sure you don't choose a pro unless you have a plan that's actually up to you if you have a plan and yeah maybe as an example my design will be something like this okay my website is this like launching soon website or something like this of course you can choose another template it's up to you you can even choose like a website uh, that has some uh, some animations example uh, you can add like new pages you can add or replace a current page example maybe this is going to be my website and etc so i'll just go here and add this as a new as another page to my website i'll add again this and this as example and i'll add this as well so as you can see my website has here i don't know five pages it seems so now once we choose like this template as an example which is this template style just to see norm as, as example we can make any changes to it for so example here i have a video i have some text i have some buttons in here uh, you can basically just go and edit whatever you want in here like it's totally up to you to create the design of your website for me i'm not good at designer or something like that so I'll let this to you of course you can add whatever element you want like icons pictures ai pictures created the stickers videos and you can add some text you can add some brands example most of them will require uh, all of them teams will require like a pro plan you can upload something from your from your own pc you can draw something just right away in your website uh, you can add some projects already that you have as an example that you already like worked on on the, some pages example you can add some apps if you want to add maybe a qr code app to add it on your website uh, you can add whatever you want as an example there's a lot of things that you can add as an example so you have a qr code app for me it's already downloaded so i simply can simply add it here so an example here you can add the qr code to your website and maybe in this page so for example the qr code maybe it should take you into your instagram so you can just simply type here instagram.com slash your username instagram for me as an example it says then click on generate code they will generate it of course you can simply resize it however you want and put this where on whatever page you want you can even put it on all pages it's totally up to you as an example after that you can edit like the positions transparency car style colors everything that you want on your website once you're done basically uh, you should be like yeah i'll just replace this i don't know why the image disappeared uh, maybe because of something anyway so once everything is good of course you can click here and preview to preview everything like and see everything is working so i have just wait until it loads the preview for so example this is going to be the preview you can simply just click on stuff and see if everything is working for you uh, you can resize on mobile of course uh, and see how it's going to look on mobile you can include the navigation menu to click on stuff and see if it's gonna work as example as navigation menu and yeah you can look for it as how it's gonna look on desktop and even in phone how it's gonna look on phone very important to see how it's gonna look on phone 
And I guess that should be it. If you like how it is, you can simply just publish the website right away. Just click on publish. And as you can see, you'll be able to publish it on your website URL. Here, you can simply enter whatever URL you would like to enter. As example, for me, I'll just type here on Mix as example. If it's not available, they'll tell you that's not available as example. So here, uh, as example, I'll add uh, omics with double X. So example, my website URL will be omics.mycanva.site. You can use also your custom domain if you have one. You will have just to simply click in here and you can bring your own domain as example here or buy a new domain within Canva or simply claim a free Canva domain. But the free Canva domain will be dot like my Canva dot uh, my of course dot com Canva dot sites and after after like uh, your domain, whatever you want to put. And if you want to transfer it, of course, your domain to Canva, you'll need the pro one. So choose whatever suits you. As we said, if you want to buy a new one, it's going to be $19 per year. And if you want to get yours, for example, you can claim yours in here. And yeah, simple as that. So you can simply here just click on publish websites. You'll be able to preview it again from here. You can edit some published like settings. As an example, you can write a description for your site. And uh, some advanced settings, example, you can uh, enable like a password. So password protection is disabled. You can enable it and put a password for it. You can uh, add this search engine visibility is disabled, example. So show uh, this website and search results. Make sure to enable it because this will uh, help you rank up your website. Uh, it's very, very important, especially if you're looking for uh, traffic into your website. And here, as you can see, a uh, link preview is disabled. You choose how your link will appear when shared on social media, as an example. Uh, you can see so when when you share the link this should this image should, should it show or not if you wanted to show enables if you don't just disable it and you can even change the image that's gonna show for example when you share the link once you're good to go for example so here uh, I'll just type here just testing around for example go and click on publish website as an example and once you click on it normally so should be like good to go yeah i'll just go back in here oh i did not enter that yet that's why it's not want to publish so here example you can uh i'll just go i'll not resize the mobile and yeah it seems all good to go of course to add the navigation menu you'll have to add page titles and navigation menu of course like if you're good at designing uh, websites you'll understand what that you'll need to give each page like a title and so it can create also a navigation menu so you can navigate between pages and etc then just go and click on publish uh, like a website and as you can see prepare preparing your design so once it is like prepared and published you'll be able to see your sites just click on view websites and you'll be able to view the, the websites right away as you can see nothing is interactive here because i did not uh, like customize anything on uh, canva for you if you customize your buttons and etc everything will be working for example you can put when when people like click on this button as example uh, they should be taken somewhere to a link and etc it's all up to you to do that so that's going to be it for me today thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next video so goodbye